Hi guys, welcome to the latest edition of our Cool Tools series. We make this video every month or so to show you some of the useful and innovative tools we work with here in our shop and that we think you'd like for your shop too. Today we have a speedy sawhorse. We shed light in our dark places. You'll see how cheap chisels may be good chisels. I shove something in my ears and go to my happy place. And these side cutters are not what you expect. As always, if there's a sponsor involved, we disclose that at the beginning of the video. And we've placed links to all these tools below this video so you can check them out for yourself and maybe even help support all the free woodworking content we produce. Now let's get started. The whole point of our Cool Tools series is to celebrate good ideas. I love when a brand goes above and beyond to improve the tools we use. That's the case with the Bora Speed Horse. At first glance, it appears to be yet another fold-up sawhorse. But when you take a closer look, you see some clever ideas that show a lot of thought went into these. The most obvious feature is the quick setup system. Yes, it's fast, but forget the speed for a minute and just consider the convenience of deploying two sawhorses at the same time without bending over. The legs also fold back up from either direction in either order, making them fast to put away as well. They are metal sawhorses with a handy non-slip surface. But if you're afraid of cutting into them, you can easily add a sacrificial 2x4 top. And here's where things start to get interesting. You can add 2x4s laterally to tie the two speed horses together, then throw on a sheet of plywood and you have a big work surface. If you want to make it rock solid, you can run screws through the brackets and the sides into the 2x4s. They even thought to include two sets of holes, one for short screws, like if you're hanging sheetrock, and the other for construction screws that are longer. Notice how the edge of the 2x4 is also flush with those sacrificial 2x4s on top. That's so you can lay a sheet of plywood on it. You also could remove those top boards and then just throw on some lateral 2x4s to make a work surface that will hold up to 3,000 pounds. And did I mention it was rock solid? Even if you try to lean a sheet of plywood against one, because they thought to add flip down leg supports that redistribute the weight and hold that full sheet upright. The ability to use them standalone or as a large sturdy work surface, not to mention the quick setup feature and the little conveniences that they thought to build in, just make these the most versatile sawhorses I've ever owned. Check them out at the link below. Maybe it's because I just turned 42 a couple days ago, but I don't see things as well as I used to. Sometimes I need more light and sometimes I need it in places where it's less than convenient to get light. That's why I'm a big fan of the LED lamps over at woodturnerswonders.com. They have a whole selection of them, and they're all worth checking out. But my favorite are these little inexpensive galaxy lamps. They have magnetic bases, and their compact size make them easy to attach to all sorts of shop machines. The LEDs put out 200 lumens of daylight color and last about 20,000 hours. They plug in, so there's no batteries to worry about. And the magnetic base generates about six pounds of pull, more than enough to keep it firmly seated wherever you want to hang it. The flex shaft makes it easy to get light where you need it and keep it there. It comes with a one-year warranty, and Ken over at woodturnerswonders.com is a great to deal with. I try to include products from small businesses like this on cool tools as much as I can, and this is definitely one worth checking out. I get a lot of people that ask, what's a decent set of starter chisels for a bargain price? And I usually tell them the same thing. If you can't afford a premium set of Lee Nielsen's, get a mid-range set of the new Stanley Sweethearts. If you can't afford the Stanley Sweethearts, get a set of Narex. They're less than half the price. How do they compare? Well, they don't have the balance and feel of a premium chisel, but they're still comfortable to use and the handles are durable. They make a horn-beamed handle set for about $20 more, I think, but I haven't tried those and I'm not sure they're worth the 50% jump in price. They're made from chrome manganese steel and hardened to Rockwell 59, which I believe is a bit softer than the Stanley's and that makes them easier to sharpen, but it, it does make them seem to dull a little bit quicker. What really impressed me were the backs. They came reasonably flat when I first got these a few years ago. I had to spend just a little bit of time lapping them because they're hollow on the back rather than crowned like many cheap chisels and the crowns just take all day to flatten before you can even use them. I'm not sure if all Narex chisels come in such good shape. Again, I was 
surprised to see that on a set in this price range because usually they're pretty hard to flatten on the back. But it's a sign that the small manufacturer, which is in the Czech Republic, cares about the quality that they put out. And that's why we use them here in our workshop and I have no problem recommending Narex chisels to others. Check them out at the link below. If you've watched our Cool Tools series for long, you know that I like Isotunes earbuds because they protect my ears and because I'm already listening to music or podcasts when it's safe to do so, then I don't have to worry about finding hearing protection. They're already in. We've shown them in the past several models, but darn it if they don't keep making newer and better models. These may be my new favorites. They're isotunes free, meaning they're free of any wires at all. They're tiny little things that you'll forget you have on, so you have no excuse to but to protect your hearing in the workshop or when you're mowing the lawn or driving a tractor or around some other noisy things or people. They provide 22 decibels of noise reduction, plenty to get those tools and machine noises down to a safe level. They last for seven hours on a charge, and they charge by just dropping them into this little magnetic USB cradle, which is super convenient. I like these because they're lightweight and they're comfortable. I can just pop them in and connect to my phone and listen to whatever I'm listening to. I can take a phone call and the microphone will cancel out the background noise so the person on the other end doesn't know that I'm still vacuuming or I'm on the lawn or doing whatever I want to be doing instead of listening to them yammer on. They're great on an airplane. If you're sitting between two big fat sweaty dudes that wheeze when they breathe, you can put these in, close your eyes, and you're in your happy place. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you don't like them, send them back. Isotunes is a great small business that's fantastic to deal with. They'll take care of you if you have a problem. I still use my other Isotune models, but these have kind of become my favorites. Check them out at the link below. In every episode of Cool Tools, we try to have at least one tool that's under $20. This time it's a set of flush cut pliers from FastCap. I bought these for a specific purpose. Every once in a while, I shoot a brad nail through a workpiece. By the way, if you want to know the difference between cheap brad nails and name brand brad nails, it's how easy they are to pull out. The good ones can be extracted with pliers, the Harbor Freight ones break off. But sometimes you don't want to extract them with pliers because you can mar your workpiece, or maybe it's not in a visible area and you just don't want to bother. So you might cut them off. But regular side cutters have bevels along the jaws, so they will not cut flush. These will cut right to the wood, or at least close enough that a little bit of sandpaper will finish the job. But the specific purpose I bought them for wasn't just nails. It was to trim edge banding flush. Seriously, these things are fantastic for that, and all sorts of other things. It's one of those tools that I didn't know that I needed, and now I come across all kinds of uses for them in the shop, and I wonder how I got along without them. Check them out in the link below. That does it for this episode of Cool Tools. Don't forget to use the links we provide. Some are affiliate links that pay us a small commission if you use them. Others include discount codes to save you money. And all are intended to help you find the coolest tools for your workshop. See you next time. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.